Hi, this is Keneally, and we're going to investigate Snell's Law with a little lab today. And Snell's Law is basically, as light goes from one medium into a different medium, it's going to change direction and change speed. So, as light goes from, in this case for our lab, a less optically dense material, which is air, into a more optically dense material, which is like this plastic, then the light's going to change direction and move towards the normal, and slow down. Now we're not going to worry about the slowing down part right now. We want to figure out the index refraction of our clear plastic. So an index or refraction is a number in physics that gives a measure of, in this case, the optical density of the material. Indices and coefficients don't have units, so for light in these materials, the lowest index refraction we have is one. That's a vacuum. Everything else has got to be above that. Diamond has an index refraction around 2.42. So you can never get an index refraction less than one. That's a good hint for this lab, just in case something goes wonky. All right, now let's get into the lab. Let's do a lab with Snell's Law. Here we've got light and air. Air has an index refraction of about one. Technically, it's 1.0003, but for all practical purposes, we can say just 1. And using Snell's Law, we can actually figure out the index refraction of our unknown material here, which is this clear plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this so we can get different angles of incident. And the angle refraction is at this point right here where the light makes contact with the plastic. And the way this is curved, the angle that you read here is going to be equal to the angle that is refracted in this solid. As light goes from a less optically dense material, air in this case, into a more optically dense material, which is this plastic here, light will change direction. It will turn and go towards the normal. And we can use Snell's Law to determine the index refraction of that material. Now indices do not have units. So we're looking for just a number. So I'm going to rotate this. And as I rotate this, you can take measurements on the angle of incident and the angle of refraction. So here we got an angle of incident of 30 degrees, angle of refraction of about 20. It's good to take several measurements and then average your results. Here the angle of incidence is 50. Angle refraction is around 31 and a half. Here the angle of incidence is 70 degrees. Angle of refraction is around 40 degrees. Turn it back through. Now, take your data, figure out the index refraction of the plastic. Air is 1. Theta 1 is the angle on this side. Theta 2 is the angle of refraction, which is on this side. And to determine the index refraction of the solid and see what you get. Thank you. Uh, hit the like button, please, and tune in for, for more physics. Bye.